So I'd like to give you a little bit of information about correct harvesting so as to be kind to your plant and to get the best quality leaves for using. And a lot of this can apply to other medicinal herbs or other herbs you're using for food as well. So in general, I'm going to say don't harvest any more than one tenth of your plant at any time. Now that's quite a bit for a larger plant like this. But just as a general rule, it's easy for people to strip plants and I've seen people strip plants before for culinary and medicinal reasons and it's not a good idea. So we, we, the idea is you really want your plant to keep living. So there are two really important things with harvesting and one is the timing. So you don't want to harvest foliage that is not well developed. So now I'm going to talk about choices you might make as to removing some of the top of the plant or the sides of the plant or lifting the plant from the base and explain what the ramifications of that kind of pruning or harvesting is. So what I recommend when you're in an urban or suburban situation or if you just have a small tree in the country is that you use your harvesting as part of your pruning regime. So you, you harvest at the same time as you're shaping your plant. So you have, it's a multi-purpose activity is what I suppose I'm saying. So if your goal is to raise your tree up to be able to plant more things underneath it, then you'll gradually be removing branches from the base. Now, you don't want to remove very, um, you do this with secateurs by the way. Now, you, I'm not gonna do this because I don't actually want to remove all of this to the base. I don't want it, because the result of taking things from the base is also to push the tree up higher. And whereas I have a bit of space here, I don't really want my plant to get higher and higher. I don't want it to get too high. But the point is that I'm going to show you is that you don't cut too close to the trunk. You cut just a tiny little bit away from the edge of the trunk so as to preserve the integrity of the edge of that stem. We we'll, might do some close-ups in another video another day to talk about the bark branch ridge, which is it's too hard to talk about at this distance. Now, you might like to produce more of a hedging of your plant or to, uh, to tip prune, and that will, will um, a bit like hedging, will cause your plant to become bushier and thicker. So by pruning little bits all over, your plant will become more bushy and rounded. And so that's probably a good option for this plant because it's grown up quite thin and tall. I mean, that, that is part of the normal habit of this plant. It is an upright weeping plant. However, I've seen quite a few gumbies, many, many different gumbies from different seed sources, and they are, or they can be quite a lot bushier than this one. So this one is probably growing more upright because it's in a narrow area with plants all around it, rather than being out in the open. And that's always going to be um, something that's going to influence the habit of the plant. So I might like to take something off the top to make mine a bit more bushy. In fact, I think I'm just going to take a little bit here and there. So using something like these really nice foraging snips, it's really important to prune just above a leaf. So this is a good spot to prune and you'll see that these leaves are quite leathery. So this is suitable for drying. Thank you, little Gumby. And now I'm going to take another little bit. So this is what you qualify as tip pruning, taking a little bit from all over the place. Now this may have been tip pruned before, it's branched here. The result of this tip pruning hopefully will be to cause some branching here and there. I might take a bit from over here because it's heading towards the fence, so there's not a great deal it can gain from growing into the fence. It's going to get brushed up against it. So I take that little bit off. And then another little bit over in this corner. These leaves are relatively well developed. There's a really nice branching here that I don't necessarily want to remove. So I might take that bit out. And so on and so forth. 